in an age where we have AIs beating champions in StarCraft, Go and Dota, a game like Minecraft shouldn't be an issue, right? To beat the Ender Dragon you only have to navigate to a tree, aim and hit a lock till it breaks, repeat this a couple of times, open the menu, craft wooden planks, use those to craft a crafting table, use the table to craft a pickaxe, find stone, collect stone, go back to your crafting bench, craft a stone pickaxe, find iron ore, build a furnace, place the furnace down, the yep. iron ore into iron, craft iron the pickaxe, iron pickaxe. Place, craft the eye of ender, throw them in the air, follow them, put some tunes into your jukebox. Put the eyes into the portal, shoot the crest, shoot the track, jump into the portal, and you're done. Uh, oh yeah, don't drown, starve, get killed by mobs, or get sidetracked by all the other things you can do in Minecraft from villager trading, farming, building, PvP, or trying to endlessly optimize your melon farm to collect even more melons you will never use. It's not that Minecraft is cognitively challenging or mechanically complicated. There's just a lot to do. From starting out in a fresh world to defeating the Ender Dragon, it takes a brutally long sequence of steps. And there isn't just one sequence. The possibilities are near infinite. Furthermore, some tasks are inherently hard to judge. What does building a good house or even a beautiful one mean? How can you assign rewards for that? It's a difficult space. So the question arises, is building a good Minecraft AI possible? At this moment, there is a competition going on to train the best Minecraft agent. The goal is to collect a diamond as fast as possible. Or to be more realistic, to collect a diamond at all. This year is the second time the competition is running. This is last year's winner. Okay, so the AI starts out pretty good. You can quickly tell it's not a human. The whole not mining the whole tree thing. Just letting the leaves float above the ground, mm -mm. you can't do that. And of course the AI starts digging straight down. What can you say? I mean, digging straight down is not a bad idea per se, it's just a risky one. And yay! The AI found iron, great! So all the credits for this video go to William Gus, who not only recorded it, but has organized this whole competition in the first place, and of course to the Russian team who built the AI. So the AI managed to craft an iron pickaxe. No other AI in the competition was able to get this far. Does this mean this is the limit of our current abilities when it comes to AI in Minecraft? No. If someone like OpenAI would want to solve this challenge, they could throw GPUs at this task until it is solved. This of course wouldn't make for a fun competition. So they limited the compute to a single GPU, though a very powerful one, and 4 days of training time. This challenge is as much about solving sparse reward environments with limited compute in general as it is about Minecraft specifically. And I think that's great. It allows many more people to join this challenge and make it a real competition instead of just the richest company winning. To enable machine learning in Minecraft, they have created MineRL, a framework around Minecraft to make training AIs in Minecraft accessible to everyone. So let's have a crack at it and see what we can do. Okay, after about one hour of tinkering around, I got Minecraft running, wow! It will always run in this teeny tiny window that's pretty common with machine learning stuff as we want to reduce the number of pixels the network has to work with. Most of them are useless anyway. I won't start out with machine learning, neural network magic right away. Let's see what we can do with just some old school coding. Adding just a few lines of code lets the AI run around in circles, cool. We can even spin up a second instance of Minecraft and watch it run around. Okay, not a bad start. 
I added a few more lines, changed it up a bit, and now we have the camera moving up and down. <laughs> it is already starting to collect a few locks. I mean, it's not always working great, but hey, let's keep on going. Okay, let's see about digging straight down. Easy, nice. Okay, so if we can collect a few locks, make some tools and dig straight down, we are pretty much in diamond territory here, guys. I added some logic to craft a crafting table, place it and make wooden pickaxe. This is all pretty much handled by the framework, so no navigating any menus or learning recipes necessary. Good news for us. It all happens so fast that it's hard to see, but trust me, it does. Wow, okay. Yeah, digging straight down still is risky. Yeah, we also need some luck with the spawn, but all right. Okay, I improved our rudimentary logic even further. Now the AI properly stops when mining the first lock and tries to keep on moving when no locks are mined after about 10 seconds. Also a mode for mining straight. Ooh, it seems to come along. To be honest, I'm not quite sure what the point of what I'm doing is right now, but I have invested so much time so that it's too late to stop now, so I will just keep on going. Okay, I have added the ability to craft a stone and iron pickaxe if the resources are available. Also, after mining straight down for 60 seconds, it will place cobblestone below itself, thereby laddering up a few blocks to reach a good mining height for diamonds. What you have to understand about the logic I'm programming here is that our agent is pretty much blind. It only sees its inventory, that's it. For visual data, I don't receive any information about the blocks or player positions, just the raw pixels, and that's quite hard to deal with without any advanced methods like machine learning. So yeah, that's a challenge. Okay, okay. I will stop now. This is my final version of this dirty kind of AI. I think it should be able to reach diamonds. You can see it walks around blindly, changing direction every few seconds until it manages to randomly mine a lock. Then it tries to mine four locks, craft stuff and start digging. Okay, wish me luck. Three hours later. Okay. By now the bot and I really have built up a connection in some strange way, but it has found diamonds, multiple diamonds. I mean, it hasn't mined any of them. For the diamond logic to kick in, it needed to randomly pick up one, but the diamonds were located on the walls around the bot, so I don't care at this point. This is fine. Also, this is definitely the first try. The bot didn't die once or got stuck. Nah. I really don't know why you would even need machine learning. This seems fine. Okay, at this point the video totally went into a random direction. I tried getting a proper reinforcement agent to train, but it always crashed after a few hours and the results at this point really weren't all that exciting. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. This thing really took a long time to make. If you want to support me, check me out on Patreon. Also, I have a Discord if you're looking for fellow machine learning slash AI enthusiasts. That's it for me. Have a good one. Peace.